Hello everyone. This is in continuation uh, to our hypothesis testing related problems. The next is a goodness of fit test. So uh, what is goodness of fit test? For example, if we have uh, some data available with us and we want to test whether that particular data has come from a particular population which follows a specific probability distribution uh, or not to check whether it follows a specific probability distribution or not means uh, the sample drawn from a particular population which follows a specific probability distribution or not to test that we call it as goodness of fit <coughs> test so in this we use uh, chi square test so whatever data which is given in the uh, which is collected or given in the question that is considered as observed frequency and according to the probability distribution, we will be calculating the expected frequencies. Then subsequently, we will be using this uh, test statistic that is chi square cal is summation of O minus E the whole square by E, which is where O is the observed frequency, E is the expected frequency. So in order to understand goodness of fit test, we'll just go through one numerical example. At the point one level of significance, can we conclude that the following 400 observations follow a Poisson distribution with the lambda equal to 3? Lambda is that uniparameter of the Poisson distribution. So here the data is given as number of variables per hour 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, greater than or equal to 5. So the number of hours is given. This will total to 400. First thing is, we already know that whether to, we have to check whether to follow a, whether this data has come from a population which follows a Poisson distribution or not. So, of course, we have to use the goodness of fit test. So, let me write it as a solution. We will be using chi square test since the above is concerned with goodness of fit test. So once we decided that this is the test we are going to use, next step is to decide freeze on the hypothesis. Here the hypothesis will say that the above data is from a Poisson distribution or I should say, sorry, I should say it is from the population from a population which follows Poisson distribution, PD. So alternative will be exactly opposite. The above data is not from a population which follows Poisson so that will be your null and alternative hypothesis. So let's continue with this. Now here, uh, we'll write, we will be finding out the expected frequency. Expected frequency. Uh, which will denote it by capital E. And capital E can be calculated as uh, capital N times probability of, I mean, expected frequency for x taking a value small x, x taking a value small x. So I'll put here E suffix small x. So where this capital N is the total frequency, which is given in the question as 400. So that means 
this expected frequency will become 400 times probability to the mass function of a Poisson distribution will be e to the power of minus lambda, lambda power x by x factorial. So now lambda is given in the question as uh, 3. We will be substituting 3. So 400 times e power minus 3, 3 power x by x factorial. Now e power minus 3, we can get it from either tables or using a scientific calculator. And by substituting that and then multiplying it with the 400, we will get the result as 19.915 times this 3 power x divided by x. That will be our Now, this uh, chi-square test statistic will be chi-square cal, which is summation O minus E a square divided by e. so this we need to evaluate and then we also have chi square tab which is chi square table value at the degree sorry the level of significance is given as 0 0.1 0 0.1 level of significance for n minus 1. Here the number of observations given are uh, 6 observations. So it is 6 minus 1 or 6 minus 1 degrees of freedom. So that means 5 degrees of freedom, 0.1%, sorry, 10% uh, level of significance or 0.1 level of significance. We can get that value from the table as 9.26. So now in order to calculate this chi-square test statistic, we'll create one table in the next slide, like this. So we have been given this data, first two columns are already available in the data. This uh, third column, we actually calculate by substituting first x for 0, 3 power 0 will become 1, 0 factorial is also 1, so you get 19.915, uh, that is what is written here. And then next, we will be substituting x for, this is actually your x value. So x for 1 will substitute, means it will become 3 power 1 by 1 factorial. 3 power 1 is 3, 1 factorial is 1. So 3 into 19.915, whatever it is, that is come here. Next is substituting 2, you get this value. Substituting 3, you get this value. Likewise, we do all. When we come to the last one, we don't calculate this. This actually, let me put it here, the star. The star is calculated as, that is the 73.89 is calculated as the total frequency, which is 400 minus of all this sum, means 19.91, 59.74. Why? Because here we can substitute lambda as phi. Reason is it is greater than or equal to phi. Sorry, not lambda. We can't substitute x as 5 because it is greater than or equal to 5. So what will happen is, uh, if we substitute, we get a different expected frequency based on 5. That should not happen. So anyway, we know some of the observed frequency will always be equal to some of the expected frequency. So we know that will be 420. On that basis, we'll be adding these values. This one is 89.62. Again, 89.62, then 67.2. By doing the this addition and then subtraction, this is actually a balancing figure. So this observed, observed frequencies total also will be 400. This also will be 400. Now we can calculate what is O minus E, the whole square. That is this minus this, the square, divided by this E. You get all these values. By doing each one, you get these values. Now, sum of all this, that is, if I add this O minus E the square by E, sum of all this means 
the last column sum that is if i add all these things this last column we get the result as 4.7 now we got the calculated this is nothing but chi square cal now we can come to our inference since chi square cal which is 4.79 is definitely lesser than chi square tab that is chi square table value what is that 9.236 9.236 we accept h not that will be our conclusion means the data given in the question we can conclude that it would have come from a population which follows a poisson distribution with the lambda equal to that will be our conclusion when i say h not is accepted means that will be the conclusion in case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you i request you to please like uh, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel thank you